This simple but extremely cute flower can perfectly complement any paper flower composition or even become the main flower of the whole backdrop. It looks so elegant and lovely, but at the same time very easy and quick to make. And I will not only show you how to make this flower, but I have also prepared free templates for you that you can download from my website. I hope you will appreciate these templates and in return I'm only asking for your like and a nice comment. So if you want to see how to make it, stay with me and enjoy the tutorial. Okay, first of all, we need to cut out and prepare the petals. I use a cutting machine, but you can also cut everything by hand with regular scissors. This will be easy enough because these petals have very simple shapes. But if you do so, please use sharp scissors and try to cut very smoothly so the edges of the petals will be clean and neat. Because remember that these small details affect the appearance of the whole flower. Okay, we only need 5 petals number 1 and 5 petals number 2. Two. and you will also cut out the centerpiece and two bases that are included in the template. Oh, I also forgot to mention uh, that for this particular flower it's better to use a little bit thicker paper than usual because the flower is pretty large and there are not so many petals in it so we need the petals to be kind of sturdy and not flimsy so I recommend using cardstock paper with a weight of 65 pounds and more. Also, if you are wondering what kind of paper and what particular color I'm using here, I will add this info to the description box below. Okay, we need to curl our petals first. My students already know that I prefer to do this by pressing and pulling the paper against the edge of my table, but you can do it however you like. For example, I know that some artists like to use a bone folder, but you can also use a glue stick or any round pen or marker to curl it, so it really depends on which one is more comfortable for you. The petals already have pre-cut in the middle and we need to smoothly curl each half of the petal outward vertically. If you are curling the petals like me, be careful, hold the petal for both halves and don't pull too hard because you may tear the paper. So, once you curl the petals, let's glue them to make them not flat. I made sure that the templates are really handy for you and easy to use, so I made this dashed line mark on the petal that shows how much you need to overlap and where to glue. So, like this, I prepare all my petals. Okay, I prepared all my petals, so let's start to assemble the flower. I take a round base and again, you can see that I marked the pentagon for you with a dashed line in the center, so you will always glue all the petals evenly and at the right distance. And always remember that the first petal in the round cannot be glued by the entire edge because the last petal in the round must always go under the first one. So I only apply glue to the right side for the first petal. Just because I like to glue my petals clockwise, but if you like to work the other way around counterclockwise, then apply it only to the left side. And starting from the second petal, I glue it with the entire edge as usual.
Ok, our first round is ready, now let's glue the second round separately. I will explain you in a minute why I like to assemble it separately. So I take my second base and if you don't have a cutting machine then cutting this small pentagon from the center will be inconvenient for you. So just cut it out separately and glue it on top of the large one. But if you are using a cutting machine just use this pre-cut template. So, just like the first one, I glue the second round of petals. Ok, now when both rounds are ready, I like to see how I want to glue them together. And how we usually do? We usually glue every next round of petals right between the petals of the previous round, like in a staggered order, right? But these particular petals have a wavy shape and if I do this here, this wave in the middle of the second row petals would match right with this space between the first row petals. And because I'm trying to make my flower as round as possible, I like to rotate it a little bit and cover these gaps. Well, maybe it's not so obvious and noticeable for someone, but I like to pay attention to these small details as well. So try to rotate it in different ways, see how you like it better and then glue it. Perfect, it's only left to add the center. I made my center in different color, but you can make it the same color as your flower petals. It will look beautiful too, I'm sure. And uh, a fairly common mistake that I see other paper flower artists make, they just cut uh, the center and then glue it and that's it, without doing anything with it. But this is paper and paper is always flat, right? But the center of the flower is never flat. And just by shaping it really simply, you can make it way more pretty than just glue it as it is. So I like to curl the stamens just a little bit outward and then I also slightly bend them inward. So here we go, now the center looks much prettier and more natural and it's only left to glue it right in the center of our flower. So here's the final result and I think it's a really pretty flower with beautiful smooth lines and shapes. I hope you will also try to make it using my templates and if you do please send me your pictures. I'm always happy to see your beautiful creations and share it on my Instagram. And if you enjoyed this tutorial give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And I will see you soon, bye for now.